All right, guys, got a new, uh, little bit of a crazy strap for you, um, which I thought I'd uh, better get on and uh, do a video for. Just to show you what it is, uh, there will be a build order coming. It's uh, a Persian build order, so a new little Persian build. Probably going to mess it up now that I'm uh, recording, uh, but <laughs> it's uh, just kind of leading on from the Khmer strategies. So the um, the Khmer fast castle into knights, so the stupidly fast castles uh, into knights. So it's one of those one of those Morley specials. Uh, you see, other times Morley special as well. Uh, my mouse is going funny. That's not going to help, is it? Um, so with this one, we actually aim to hit the castle age around uh, 12 minutes 50-ish. It ain't going to happen uh, in this one because I've already got TCI at the time, so uh, my mouse is being a dick, I must admit. So um, yeah, it's not going to happen, but it should still hopefully be around 30 minutes uh, all being well. So, oops. Yeah, so about 13 minutes with knights and then monks. So we just make two, maybe three knights, send them forward uh, with a villager. And then we start adding some monks. And uh, I did kind of try this with, um, it, it went up a little bit later than I'm doing in this build. Uh, it had a defensive tower and it was about 1340. Uh, fast castle, which is still pretty good. Um, but uh i kept going into siege rather than monks uh, so it probably works fine with the monk play um but um with siege i just i, I don't know i just had I, I had like a 50 50 win rate so it's not like it's atrocious but um this particular one i'm doing now has got 100 percent win rate uh, i've only played four games though but still four out of four not bad is it happy with that so there you go. Thank God the deer pushing is uh, easier because I've just totally messed up what I was doing there. <laughs> it's going to be one of those games, guys. It's going to be one of those games. But it's fine. Right. Um, yeah, that's fine. So I normally go um, six on berries, but because I've got elephants, I can afford to do five and do an extra one on the food, main TC food. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, it's quite a fun build. Um, I think the good thing about it is as well is because obviously with the Persians you get the faster producing villages so it's not like it, it doesn't feel all in like some of these other types of builds like this do. Um, you actually can get quite a good economy behind it. I mean there's one particular game I ended up doing a 3TC boom behind it um, and ended up with double the amount of villages than my opponent had. It was quite good. Oh shit. Housed. Good job and notice that in time. But we nearly about to click up. So I'm just gonna send the last two over to the wood. So we're clicking up with 22 villages, so it's a 22 pop fast castle with the Persians, so obviously it's uh, pretty quick. Because uh, obviously uh, the town centre is working faster for producing villages, but it's also working faster for uh, going up as well. So uh, that applies to both food age and castle age up times. It's really good. Oh, my shift queuing. Oh. oh my god. I think my shift button's a bit dodgy. Just kill the deer there. <laughs> Just kill it there. That'll do. Oh, it's all going so wrong. You wouldn't think I'm like 14, 50, you know, would you? 
yeah, that's currently where we're at. Oh, 1460, I should uh, should say. So we're not doing too badly at the moment. Obviously, we dropped down from our dizzying heights of uh, the 1500s. Uh, I did try playing a bit normal meta for a little while, and uh, obviously, I've changed my mind since then. We've got Tatars, so I'd be interested to see what he's going to be going for because I'm not entirely sure. If I am honest. Probably scouts, you would have thought. Okay, so I'm going to go from market and stable. Oh, that's really screwing me over this, uh, this passing in the wall situation. That's fine. Oh, you just come up here, you do murder. Okay, well, that's kind of screwed up a little bit. It's fine. Ah, oh, two food, come on. There we go. Jesus. Okay. It's fine. Let's do that. <laughs> Not going well, is it? Alright, let's get some scouting info. I wonder why he's not attacking yet, what's he doing? Seems to be taking forever. Let's just clear those. Definitely. Ah! Saved. Just. No, not gonna be saved though. Come on. Totally screwed me over with that house though, to be fair. Uh, I needed to get grid lines but kind of screwed everything over. Ain't so bad. Not gonna lie. It's not normally this bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty late up as well. A lot of survival time, but it's fine. Well, it's fine. What? You don't attack me from there. Why is that night just running away? There we go, that'll do. Yes. Passing, my friend, is awful. I can only sympathize with you there. Okay, we've, we've, we've dealt with the little threat there, so that's fine. We're going to go forward, we're going to drop the, uh, the um, whatever it is called, Monastery. Uh, we'll do it there. And send a few more onto gold. Maybe we're some knights. And then hopefully we'll be good to go. Fingers crossed. Let's uh, 
Get rid of that, we're gonna need some more houses. Let's go on the attack a little bit. They can't get through, does it? That's fine, let's just uh, go forward a little bit, try and get some heels in. I've got still not got bloodlines, but it's fine. So at this point what we're doing is converting villages Pick some villages off here, hopefully should be able to Boom! GG Easy as that I say easy as that, that's pretty terrible play but uh, yeah, 5 out of 5 now <laughs> So uh, yeah, let me know what you think See you on the next one.